Deep brain surgery treats mostly the motor symptoms of Parkinson's disease, and so a good candidate would be someone who's really suffering from tremor and slowness of movement, difficulty walking, and has been using medications to their best effect but not getting a good response. Mr. Sines was one of my patients, and so as I was treating him with medications, I realized that he would be a good candidate. So part of my role there was educating him about what the surgery would entail, evaluating to make sure he wasn't having any memory trouble or any other issues that would interfere with him being a good candidate for the surgery. Before the surgery, even at the best response to his medications. He still had a lot of shaking and quite a lot of trouble with the fine motor movement. In Parkinson's disease, the motor pathways are disrupted. There's a loss of neurons in a portion of the brain called the substantia nigra. And then those neurons are not producing the dopamine that they normally produce. And that's how medications work. The medications replace that dopamine. But as the neurons continue to die, um, the medication becomes less effective. And plus, the medications have a lot of side effects as well. Um, so at some point in the future, with most patients, they ultimately get more side effects than benefit from the medications. And that's when we start thinking about the um, stimulator. What the stimulator does is goes to that target of the dopamine and where the dopamine is missing and that target's not normally firing, we go ahead and give that stimulation directly. Immediately in the operating room when we turned on this deep brain stimulator, we could see that his tremor went away and his movements dramatically improved. He's really taking less than half of the medications that he was taking before. If you look at him, you would have no idea that he has Parkinson's disease. He's doing the things that he enjoyed doing before, um, you know, where he couldn't do them previously. He was getting depressed previously, and he was having difficulty coping with the loss of function. And now to have that restored, uh, uh, it's just amazing. The, uh, the ironic thing is, when someone has Parkinson's disease, they physically have difficulty smiling, um, whether they want to or not, just because of the, uh, the motor impairment. And uh, now he's smiling uh, quite a bit. It was a great success. Uh, I think Mr. Sines is our best spokesperson to indicate that. And the team here worked so well together. I was really happy with the collaboration with Dr. Selznick and myself. Why go any farther than Winchester Medical Center? Because I'm living proof that it works. And I'm living proof that these doctors know what they're, they're very high quality and they're well trained. And I don't know where else in the United States of America that you could find a doctor of that quality. Right here. Having known Mr. Signs as an outpatient, being there in the operating room with him was really wonderful. And I think he immediately just realized that his life was going to change. And it really has. Uh, so we're just happy to be part of that.